welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, let's discuss how to customize and add fields to list view using Studio module in Odo 40. So for that, let's open up module. Uh, so let's open sales and here we can find all our quotations, sale orders. So let's click on this uh, icon and customize. Let's see how we can customize this list view. So by default, you can view the list view of sale orders or quotations and you can change that is switch to another view that is you can find form view, canvas view, there are a lot of other views. So let's see how we can add fields to this list view and customize our list view. So here you can add existing fields to list view or new fields. So if you already have some fields and models, and if you want to add those in your list view, you can just drag that from here. That is, you can search for the existing, search for a field from those existing fields. So if I want margin percentage to be displayed on this list view, you can just drag it back and drop on your list view. So you can see that is added. And so this margin percentage is an existing field that is already created in Uru and you can see that uh, it is already there in our form view. Okay. Then if you want to add a new field to this field, you can drag, it, uh, drag the field from here. So we have different types of field like text field, multi-line text, decimal, integer. Then we have relation fields like one to many, many to many, many to one, then related field. Okay, so now I'm going to add priority field to this uh, field order list view. So we can use this field. I'm going to use this field to prioritize the orders or quotations. Okay, so I can set Okay, let me close this. So in this way, you can set priority. So in the same way, you can add a uh, text box that is text field to your list view. Okay, and when you click on a column, you can see some properties related to that field or column. So uh, if you click on this customer, okay, you can view uh, properties like you can make the field invisible. So uh, you can make it uh, at default, by default invisible, and you can make it invisible by setting some conditions like adding some field. So like, uh, okay, and so like this way, you can make a field required read only. Then you can change the label of this uh, field, then you can with the widget, so in order we have different types of widget and we can disable creation, disable opening and we can set a domain. Uh, then it's also possible to limit the visibility to certain groups. So here we have a margin percentage. So if you want to limit the visibility of this field uh, to administrator, you can just do that by choosing it from here. So administrate the user with this administration power can only view this field margin from this list view. Okay, and if you want to remove a field from your list view, you can just click on that uh, field name and click remove from view. Then you can also find some view related options like uh, you can enable 
and allowed to create a new record or edit a record or delete a record. And if you want to see the hidden elements, that is hidden fields in your view, in your list view, you can just enable this option. That is, you can view the invisible elements. And it's also possible to make, a, make your list view editable. So we have two options for that. One is you can make it editable on top or at bottom. Okay, so I have enabled editable uh, on top and here you can see option to edit from your list view. Okay, then we can also sort the elements, uh, sort the uh, records from this list view. So you can sort it by choosing, the, choosing a field. So if you want to sort this by creation date, uh, you can see it is sorted. So, and we can do it by ascending or descending order. And you can also change it like if you want to sort by status, then order reference. So you can see it is sorted by order reference. So it's so easy to customize your list view using Studio Module without having much coding knowledge. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.